dogs and cats and 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 dogs and and uh, I've just been asked to share some videos that inspire me from YouTube. So um, I've picked a few to share. Um, the first one is from a guy named Azure Vision. It's a very simple animation and uh, it's to some really beautiful words by a guy named Terence McKenna. And he basically talks about how we give away our power in society. And I think that's a great thing about YouTube is these kind of videos have a very clear message but they're done in an interesting way, so that's one that I often look to if I'm feeling a bit flat or need some creative inspiration. Uh, the second piece is a short film by a guy named Taika Watiti, and he's a New Zealand guy who um, has directed a film called Two Cars, One Night, which features some terrific performances from young, young kids. But I chose him because he's made a film called Boy, uh, one called Eagle vs Shark, he's directed some Flight of the Concords. He's uh, also done a TED talk about creativity and I just find him really inspiring. And, um, the third video is by a guy called Johnny Kelly and it's called Back to the Start and it's a very simple animation. Yeah. It has a message to it but it's not banging you over the head, it's just done in a very clever, subtle way and uh, I find that kind of storytelling really fantastic. Um, the fourth piece is called uh, by a group called Symphony of Science and uh, they take famous scientists or other great thinkers and take some of their um, speeches and modulate their voice so it turns into a song. And this one's called A Glorious Dawn and it features a guy named Carl Sagan who I absolutely love. I find his words really inspiring and this is a really clever way to, tell, um, to communicate what he has to say. The fifth piece is a, a really short video by a guy called uh, Stephen Wiltshire and it's called The Human Camera. And it's just basically an expose about this guy who flies around Rome in a helicopter a couple of times and then he's able to go back and paint or sketch the entire city onto a canvas just by looking at it once. And I often watch this because it reminds me of, I think, what we are capable of as human beings. And it kind of reminds me just to open up my mind a bit and open up the way I see the world and that anything is possible. Um, it's only my perception of it that makes it so. The sixth one is a beautiful film called Mankind is No Island. It's by Jason Van Genderen, who's a terrific guy and he's made a really shot on his mobile phone in New York and Sydney. And it's just a great example of very simple, honest storytelling done in a very clever way, but it's just got a lovely intention to it. There's a lot of heart in it and uh, I think it resonates in, in everyone who sees it. And finally is uh, a TED talk and this woman's name is Jill Bolt Taylor and she's a um, neuroanatomist, so she studies the brain and this talk is about her having a, a stroke in the left side of her brain and the left side is all the analysis, um, logistics, working things out and she spends I think about 20 minutes just in the right side of her brain which is where all creativity comes from, a sense of connectedness with everyone, um, much more play and I think I find it inspiring because that's kind of where I want to tell stories from and the stories that I respond to are invariably made in the right side of the brain. Um, so there's a few videos, I uh, hope uh, you enjoy them, um, good luck making whatever it is you're making and uh, I hope uh, it goes really well, thanks.